everybody, it is Cinema Cody, your art surfa, and today we are going to be continuing on our purple pixie art journey where you guys are following along with me so you can create these wonderful, fantastic paintings yourself. This is episode three of the Purple Pixie. Once a month, we're doing a different theme. And um, we just take as long as we need to take with these so you guys get great results. There's a group. We're going to do 12 paintings. So far, it's been going pretty well. On the mic is my husband, John. Hi, guys. He tracks me with all the cameras so you guys can see what the heck I'm doing. So you're not guessing or hoping that things just work out. There is traceables. Um, I don't know if I got the traceable reposted up. We'll work <laughs> on that. But by the time you see me, it is. So, time travel. Yeah, for all you for all you travelers. For you people who pointed out there were there were two lefts, that's now all cracked. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. So anyways, I'm going to be continuing on resolving the mushrooms. We're going to be adding and blocking in the beginning of our ferry and maybe some more groundwork here and just journeying on and getting a glow mushroom on. Mm. Maybe? Yeah. A little bit. You think you could? Little glow. Uh, I've got my coffee. Do you have your coffee or your lunch beverage, whatever that might be? Something. All right, let's hop in. I'm ready. I got my stuff. I was just over here checking it out, making sure we have all the uh, descriptions and links updated. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are here in the live, you'll see that those guys are uh, being updated as we go. And are they going? Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm I've got there. two plops actually this time of titanium white in the center because I think I'm going to make some master skin tone. I have quinacridone magenta, alizarin crimson, dox purple, prussian blue, thalo green, thalo blue, mars black, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, cad yellow medium, indian yellow. And that is what's on the palette today. I'm going to be using teeny tiny brushes and my vision enhancer so I can see what the heck I'm doing when I get into the pixie. But first, we got to finish up painting these mushrooms so we can transfer her on. All right. That was a weird face. I just made it, y'all. <laughs> Ignore the face. It's fine. Everything's fine. You're fine. <laughs> so I think I'm going to get a Cambridge out. I really like these for painting the mushrooms. And I think I'm going to grab the number four. I've got, um, I'm going to switch my reference. You guys have your picture-in-picture -picture reference. I have my picture-in-picture -picture references. If you're brand, brand, brand new here, you'll notice that we make some changes to our references. And you're probably going, why? Well, guys, it's because they're reference photos. They're not, like, stuck to them and can't change our mind in photos. I mean, those are sometimes it's nice to create exactly what you see, but sometimes it's nice to take your imagination out for a happy little walk and see what comes of it. Let's start working out our caps. Now, there's a little bit of purple in these mushrooms, but actually I find that they have a lot of magenta in them. So I'm going to mix a lot of this. I'll go ahead and get some zinc. The neat thing about zinc is that it lightens the color without changing the hue. And so I'm going to go ahead and just start painting in this more pinkish aspect, right, that we might have. Pink it up. These layers just build up on each other. That's what they do. Vision enhancers on. Vision enhancers have to have sound effects. Do they? I think so. I have to agree with that. I'm just using the edge of my brush to capture the shape of the mushroom. You know, as I'm painting, these little subtle changes can go on. The next one is a little more dark, isn't it? Got a little more of the deep purple, so we'll purple it up a bit. And again, these are references. These are for me to look at and see how they're lit, how they're shaped, but not for me to be so strictly adhering to that I am not enjoying my own painting process. I'm going to go ahead and get a little purple back down on my stems. I'll be coming back and highlighting these in a little bit, but I just think that's going to be nice. Let's go here. I might get a little more magenta going. And we're just layering these fabulous babies up. we got to make them a glow. right? Or feel like they have a little bit of a glow, and that's a fun journey. And then hopefully we'll get these in, some more foliage, and a little bit of our pixie worked out today. And then we'll finish her up next time. Sound good? Yeah. We try to keep these into smaller blocks to 
because they're big projects and it lets you guys take a little bit in and digest that. We realized uh, that that was a helpful thing doing a still life once on the channel. We're like, oh, we'll just meet up for an hour and just do a little still life. And that worked really well. You know, um, it's really actually closer to how traditional art classes are taught. I'm going to make this mushroom a little bit bigger. I'm going to go ahead and get a little of my yellow ochre into it and some titanium white. I feel like it needs to be just, as I'm looking at this, I want to scale it up. That's okay with everybody. So I'm just taking my titanium white and I'm just changing that scale a little bit. That'll happen sometimes as you're painting, you'll be like, scale it up. Whoa, put that in there. And I'm thinking I could have this little mushroom. I'll go ahead and make one. I might even change the direction that he's facing, but basically he's just going to be a little thought. That hue over there. That's how we say thought in our community. The hue over there. It's going to be a little thought in our canvas. I'm never letting that go, guys. Once that occurred to me, all over. <laughs> I love this look, like these glasses. I feel so edgy. It's so neat. I actually really think, I think you look super cute like all this. I just enjoy them a lot. I'm going to take a little purple over to my yellow ochre. I'm going to get a little titanium white into it. I'm going to go ahead and start. I think I want even more um, yellow into the purple and a little more titanium white. There we go. Just starting to work this out. Start talking about these little segments. Because they have segments, don't they? Ogres have layers. Paintings have layers. Mushrooms have segments. Now, there's a, a, a question here. I have time for answers today. So... Christine was asking, Hi, she, Christine. she was on vacation and uh, decided, you know, she had a little extra time and was going to, was going to do some painting. And uh, she traced on uh, the, on, on her uh, canvas with a thin paint pen. Um, can it, it's, uh, so she traced her paint, her pixie on with a thin paint pen. Okay. Um, is it okay to paint over that or should she start over? No, don't start over. Um, so your issue using a pen, depending on the pen, and there's so many kinds and how those inks and pigments and stuff behave. Um, if you've done something, say, questionable, but you're pretty far into your painting and you don't want to let it go, and you're not sure how the next layer is going to happen, you can take advantage of something called an isolation coat, which is a seal between what's under the canvas and what's going to come above it. Ooh, that's and so actually... I have been there. What I would do is I'd get something like GAC 100 or that's Golden Artist Colors uh, Medium 100. But it's going to say GAC 100. Uh, gloss Medium and Varnish uh, will also do this. And you put a thin coat, thin, thin couple of coats of those. Let those, you know, dry. Use as described because you don't want to cloud it up. And then if you're worried about having enough tooth, you can even use a little clear gesso very carefully painted over. So you can actually seal that down, prevent any of that from bleeding into your painting over the next year, and probably go forward with impunity. Hmm. That's good advice. Go forward with impunity. Paint away, young artist. In any way you see fit. No one can stop you. What right have they yeah. to we're just stop gonna, you? We're going to equip you with all of the skills to go rogue in your art practice. <laughs> As rogue as you need. As, as, as Huzzah! But we will do so in a dorktacular fashion. Yes, with sound so effects. So expect that. I was so pleased that everybody understood my Dune references. <laughs> I was like, yay. Well, if you don't, this is probably not the place. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't have to. Well, you don't we've have got to, great I mean, sherpettes that yeah, do not true. read Frank Herbert or watch Supernatural. And we love them. In, in the exact same way the Munsters loved, uh, who was the cousin who was so pretty and normal? Oh, Anybody my remember? gosh. I, I, I do totally remember. Totally drawing a blank right now. Yeah. No. I, I remember Eddie. They, ha they, had, they had the uh, cousin who yeah, was I know. just like, like, like a little cheerleader. Yeah. We have a few Sherpats that fit that role. 
<laughs> and that's okay. We love you. Just like she was loved. We love you. Remember the family. Because there's no normal. There's just a setting on my dishwasher. <laughs> this is very true. You boom, know. Boom, boom. All right. So I've got that sort of laid in. I feel like I've got some richness of paint here. It is. I am dry enough to get to the next stage. And the next stage is very interesting. I'm going to take a little of my twin. And I'm going to get a crazy with my Indian yellow and my zincs. Because I'm going to start glowing them up a bit here and there. So I'm going to put this little Indian yellow out. Then we're going to put some white out. It's going to be fun. This is going to be an uneven pattern that you might have. Okay, little thin coats of this. Uneven pattern. You can put a little bit there. I'm going to get into my white and start to pull that up. I'm modeling, molding the mushroom. Putting little spots of light where I think they might be. And then you can come into your quinacridone much stronger, like we are. And pink into the sum of that. Super fun. The paint underneath shows through, and that's why we take the trouble of painting what we do. It layers. It layers, and it's very it's somewhat transparent. So these things can build up. I'm going to go ahead and brush a little pink down the stem. I might even cheekily put a little bit right here in this bottom left. Get a little more into my quinacridone as I'm going and see how much stronger that is. Oh, yeah. Quite pink, isn't it? These are going to be super saturated little psychedelic. Don't eat them. Don't eat the quinacridone mushrooms unless you intend to stay in the fairyland forever. Things I learned from Greek mythology. Don't eat the food. <laughs> <laughs> Just get away with a lot of stuff, apparently, but not eating the food. I wonder if that was like just how the Greeks like felt about travel. <laughs> Don't eat the food or you'll never make it home. Let's make a bunch of myths and scare everybody about it. That's what we'll do. I don't know. Hard to know. The mindset from so long ago, what actually drove things. As we look back and observe from today, I'm just taking my diox and I'm just brushing some of it in. You can see I'll make some little dry brush spots. I'm even put some of this here. can be so fun, I think. I'm going to get a little of my docks, and I've really dried out my brush. And the reason I've really, really dried out my brush is otherwise it can uh, be so soppy wet that it doesn't do a nice job. And my point is to try to make some different little lights here, moving on this little right area. Just filtering it up. Patch up, little mushroom. Patch up. Talking about the value, Adam's family values, mushroom values, <laughs> trying to imply the lit up aspect of it. Always fun stuff. I'll come right here. I've got this light color anyways, right? Maybe add a little bit of it right there. Go right into my quinacridone. Cheeky bugger that I am. I am a cheeky bugger. Don't question it. Mm. See, I'm just moving along on the tip or toe of my brush, wiggling back and forth, just creating dynamic color set, as you should, and you should always be doing that. A little titanium white right here on the little bristles. You can see why I like these little bristly bits, right? Yeah. What's happening? You get really familiar it's not like i love having great tools and, and you know i do because i recommend them all the time but the trick is i'm going to put a little quinacridone into the dox the trick is here to realize that tools are important but also working with your tools knowing them really well is important 
there's a lot of factors that go into everything that we have going on. I'm going to add a little more color right there. I'm going to wipe off, get a bunch of my titanium, and come down and pink up this little mushroom clearly. Because it's quite pink, isn't it? Yeah. I'll come back with like a little detail brush to make that lip look right. And just layering, layering, layering. Having fun. Painting mushroom caps is like maybe one of the most fun things. Put a little more magenta. Build up. Build it up. Gonna build it up. You can build it up with me. And every once in a while, you go be like, I'll be so cheeky, I get a little Indian yellow. Because that's going to create a glow. And even though our canvas isn't backlit the way, say, you know, our reference would be, this little bit of glow here where I come through with the Indian yellow over stuff, that's going to make a nice big difference in how glowy this feels. See how we're going? And then when we get back, we're going to start to see things start to illuminate. Right? It really does. Start to illuminate. We soften these edges and keep them illuminating. It's so fun to soften the edges. Lot to paint. A lot to paint today, guys, even though it's just mushrooms. Go figure that, right? I'm gonna put a little bit of that warmth in here. I think this guy's gonna be glowing a little more on the left hand side. A little more magenta. You'll see me come around and keep adding layers to the stems and finding little spots to put colors from one mushroom to the next. This is going to help them feel like they're in the same plant, same species. I did an exercise once where I had to paint something that had been grafted, and that was so challenging because there could be spaces across the plant that just weren't related. Right. So it did. It just, it was like, how do you paint, like painting something grafted to not look wrong is really hard. I'm going to go ahead and add some of this nice little purple right here. To this little fellow too. Even though it's a thought. Which is, we got to get a shirt, shirt team. That hue over there. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> I'm looking for a thought. That hue over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sherpism if we've ever had one. Oh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that here. Actually, I mean, if, even if you guys don't get tonight's. the shirt, I will get the shirt because I need that shirt. I need to walk around the art store with a shirt that says I'm looking for a thought. I, I think we'll, we'll. And then really small, that he over there. <laughs> <laughs> As a woman, I take back these words and empower myself. <laughs> And all the guys are giggling because they're like, I get to wear that shirt. <laughs> no one can yell at me. <laughs> I'm with Christy. These mushrooms are super cute. They need to be cute. And just like, oh, I come here. Kiss you with little bits of purple because I love you so much, little mushroom guy. I um, interestingly love my paintings. Yeah. Like really fondly love them. I, I color them, and I enjoy them. I enjoy spending time with them. And I love making... Oh, he's so pretty. He's like my favorite thing ever. He really did turn out nice. I'm going to zoom in on him. Yeah. I just like when I get to spend a little time with something and not have to rush through. And I'm like, hey, how you doing? Hey, what you thinking? Hey, going to make you light up right here where you can be. Hey. Now, Robbie was asking, are you scumbling? I'm scumbling a little bit. Yes, this is a very restrained scumble, but it would technically be a scumble. You must be doing our technique tune-up. Are you in our technique tune-up? Tuesdays. It's if you're not, you should be. Tune-up Tuesdays. 
We do them on Facebook, and then you groan, and you're like, Facebook! I know. Oh, no. It's a nice host. We just try to ignore everything else that's happening. We just, like, approach it like this. La, 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 la. <laughs> A room with a hue. A room with a hue. Write that down. All I need is a room with a hue. All I need is a room with a hue. Okay, we are the best ever. Just so you know, I'm getting a little of my quinacridone and a little of my zinc. And I'm just coming right here. What's fascinating is with the zinc, like I can crazily get some Indian yellow into that mix and not have it go just so south on me. That I don't know what to do. I'm looking at my mushrooms, sipping my coffee, saying hi to you guys. How you doing there? How you doing? Pretty good. I wish I knew where my number two Cambridge is, but I, for the life of me, cannot see it anywhere. Mm. And I really want the Cambridge. And oh, I see it. It's. <laughs> so she goes and there she is say bye <coughs> she's an adventuring Sherpa I can Sherpa away it's an away mission she can go on away missions I'm never red shirt I'm gold shirt only that's right we are all gold shirt there are no red shirts in the Sherpa dome no red shirts I feel like I should have like a the big furry hat uh, you know <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if Mr. <laughs> Mr. C would let us borrow his big furry hat I don't think he would I imagine he's probably like a big furry hat dictator. <laughs> winning character. I, uh, it would be nothing greater than for him to hear that. <laughs> You're a big furry hat dictator, sir. You are, sir. And you got to yell it too. Sir, you're a sir. big furry hat. Sir. Sir. <laughs> for all of you who get that obscure pop culture reference, <laughs> kudos to you. <laughs> Oh, no, it's such a thing, too, because John knows that I'm likely to yell at somebody like that. Ma'am, I am very unhappy with this customer service. Ma'am. <laughs> but not when you're painting mushrooms. They're just, these are glowy, these happy are, mushrooms. These are glowy, happy mushrooms. And my customer service is perfect. No. Yeah. Oh, and they would like to know, Sherpa, where can you buy a shirt? Well, oh. John, will you field that question? Very soon on our website, we'll have Again. links. Right now, the links are all hidden because the store is broken. The store is broken. And right now, it's filled with gnomes, pixies, and fairies fixing up the little descriptions and listings and making them all work we properly. We can't get it to turn on. And as soon and as they're nobody's done. nobody's pleased. We'll, we'll do something. Let everybody know. <laughs> it is so funny. Like, I hear nothing about shirts and all of a sudden, in my box. I can't buy a shirt. <laughs> like, is that like a thing? I thought I just made them for me. <laughs> Yeah, I it's like I we will totally get maybe it. in the bottom like, of the description. I've been noticing that lately that the Teespring stores and stuff, the different ones are in the bottom of the descriptions of the videos. Have you seen that lately? John's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you don't have to know what I'm talking about. Oh, that's a yeah. I mean, what what? I don't know. I was just reading the. There was another cute one. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, me. Hold on. I feel like I want to walk over and okay. give. Oh, sorry. oh, it's Yamani. No. John. I just want to make sure I Hi. Pass. How are you doing, sweetie? <laughs> she she said, <laughs> you drank my next to the paint my, paint water cup. <laughs> you know, on one side it said, you drank my. And then on the other side it says paint water. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Another good idea. Oh, my Thank gosh. You, let's Shopin. do that. Hey, you guys come up with great mugs and shirt ideas, and we'll make them. That's true. We work together as a team, as a team, team, team. I am a singing, singing person today. What's that about? Oh, no, they were asking. No, so purple. the best way for you guys to join any of the things that we do, like Watercolor Wednesday or Technique Tuesday or our just regular... Or, or like the daily watercolor uploads that seem to be oh. happening over on Instagram now if anybody wanted to learn how to do that. And right. no, I'm not quitting acrylic painting on YouTube. Well, we Clearly. Don't, but we don't, we don't send out text notifications when we do an upload. No, we don't but. notify you about uploads. You just got to follow. Yeah, if you go to our website, 
there's a little there's a little graphic right there on the main page that says how you can sign up for text notifications from our gnomes and uh, they they scurry on out right before the shows that we do live and tell you where we're gonna be I think they um, I got a note from the gnomes John yeah and they're very much objecting to your use of the word scurry which they feel is uh, um, uh, anti gnome I I they sprint gnomefully gnomefully yeah, you're going to need to really start to recognize how the Gnome Nation is, like, wanting to be heard with. <laughs> They want to be recognized. <laughs> yeah, no, I, no, uh, they feel very upset about, like, you know, what happened in Harry Potter, and there's, like, a whole thing, so we just got to, we just try to keep the gnomes happy. Cause I get it. A happy gnome is a notifying gnome, an unhappy gnome crashes your channel. <laughs> now, now la- ladies, I do know this. Uh, for you guys, tell, tell them what you're doing there, so before I... I am very carefully dusting around a mid-tone range where I've mixed a little diox purple and a little magenta and some zincs. And I'm just giving this little mushroom some, it had no personality. I'm going to get right into my yellow. Look at this. This is crazy. I'm going to get some titanium white and some diox purple. What? Yep. But it's going to work really well. And I'm just on the toe of my little number two Cambridge here. And you notice I'm sort of dancing around? Yes. Do the canvas dance. (laughs) It's safe to dance. You can dance if you want to. So, yeah, it's like that up in here. I think that's where my new, like, have you noticed the new threshold is like 18 dislikes? I think that's all about the singing. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like singing a lot more lately. Dislikes go up. Or I blame Facebook. (laughs) I am back into my docks purple and my quinacridone. I'm just trying to, you know, pick little areas of light that are kind of gleaming through our little fellow here. Okay. Cheerfully coming forward like you would want. And now I get to have a lot of fun painting the underside. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, kind of a little aglow. They are very glowy. See, when you get over here, you can definitely see how glowy they are. Yeah, but the big glow's got to happen underneath. So, this is why we have Mr. Indian Yellow. And sometimes Mr. Indian... Okay, so here's an interesting thing. Many of you have heard, I certainly have heard this, that Indian Yellow was made from force-feeding mangoes to cows in this weird province of India, and it was like killing the cows, and so then it stopped. But Victoria Finley did some research and she found out that may not actually be a story. That might have been a story somebody made up to interfere with trade. So we may have no idea how this was made. I can tell you something about this. The historical golden hue of Indian yellow involves no cows or mangoes. It's entirely synthetic. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying, Mark's sitting at home. Mark Golden's probably like, tell him I'm not killing no cows. Like, <laughs> of course not. No. No, so I'm adding just a little tiny bit of quinacridone just to warm this. And I'm going to come under here and I'm going to make these little sort of mushroom strokes, right? And these are going to be on a certain kind of back side of the mushroom. Like, so if the, if the mushroom was like going like this, it would, hit, these are four short and it's to go there a little bit. And then you could be like, oh, how about you right here? Go like this. Yes. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. My mushroom glows. Does your mushroom glow? Because I've got that hue over there. You don't got no thoughts in your life. But I got that hue over there. Okay. You making up songs. I make up songs all the time. I used to make up songs as a kid. Except that I don't we think get the... I should go try out for Idol. I'm not confused. But see, now we're recording these songs. I've got this friend, Jenny Chan, and she does origami. Some of you guys know who she is, and she can, like, really do origami, but, like, she can really sing. And here's what horrified me. For sure, I'm rinsing out. I'm going to reset on the next one. For sure, we all know I can't sing, which is cool because I'm still going to do it because I'm happy in my heart. Happy things sing and happy things paint. That said, Jenny can sing, and she sang, and like really beautifully on her channel, and she got so much hate, and I was like, how is it that I am not? <laughs> and this beautiful mockingbird of a human being who looks like a little flower of the East. I mean, she's so adorable. 
and precious is getting anything but shares and love. It just conf- the whole internet confuses me. Yeah. Not because I can't turn it on. I can totally turn it on. It's just, it's just the zeitgeist of it is just. Hmm. See what regular art class is like that you could pay two hundred dollars an hour to come in and hang with the teacher to do this exact thing with you, and yet free on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now you're thinking, well, it should be free. I didn't know that's what I'd be paying for. Yep, this but, is pretty you know, much it. You, 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 you do. You, <laughs> the payment is you do have to be with us. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is the. <laughs> you can go elsewhere, but you don't get us. I love the people who are like, I really like your paintings, but I can't stand you. It makes me so mad. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you're stuck, you, aren't you? We, I've we, added a little zinc to my Indian yellow, and I'm going to be brushing this down. See how we're doing? Into sort of these like little segments. Like a happy, loving mold. We just hug you and don't let go. <laughs> and just creep right up on you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're so weird. All right. I'm bringing my little zincs around on this side much lighter. <laughs> 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 I love when we have a weird day. I know not everybody loves when we have a weird day, but I love when we have a weird day. I love a rainy night. Mm-hmm. Look, it's already starting to glow it up. Hmm. You got your glow? I got my glow. You got to know about the glow, glow, glow. The glow, glow, glow. I got my glow, glow, glow. See how, and then that nice, like, Indian yellow over there, which involves no harm of any cows or mangoes. No cows or mangoes are harmed. Someone actually was, like, I'm very upset that you're harming cows. <laughs> I was like, no, no, I'm not even harming humans. It's just, <laughs> no, nothing was harmed in the making of the yellow. Nothing. 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 It's just yellow pigment. It's even non toxic. <laughs> While I've got this all sitting here being its precious little self, I'm going to get a very controlled little brush that I trust. Let me see what I have hiding around. Oh, let's get one of my number two filberts. I love these so much. I'm so glad when we made these. I'm going to get a little of my Indian yellow and some of my titanium white for this. And I'm going to come just under here. Because I want that sliver to be a little more controlled, if you guys can see how that is. Add a little more white to that so that some of it's a little bit lighter. Maybe even this little fellow can. But I actually think that needs to be darker. So I'm going to get back into my Indian yellow. That's too bright for where that is. And this one is a baby, so it's not quite as big and glowy as the big ones around it. Isn't that nice? These are like the best glow mushrooms ever. Ever! (laughs) Okay, so more to the Indian yellow. I'm going to come into my titanium white now. Why? Come see. Because now at the titanium white, when I come here, I can brush in these defined segments. So I make a little segment shape, and I leave like a sliver of the darker paint around. Can you guys see how we're doing that? Oh, yeah. And come there. And now, look at that. He's a little, he's a little glowfish in a little glow time. Did anyone know Jonathan Colton? Hey, of Get him painting because I'm like a super fan. And I feel that there's a really good Jonathan Colton song based on what we do. But obviously, I don't know what it is because I just sing weird random things out of the world. <laughs> Can you imagine if Bob had done that? <laughs> so weird. Get your little dance on. Boom, boom. Do we get bubble? Uh, you know what? <laughs> Let me look over here and see. I'm is it not Texas sure. Snowflake time? I don't know. I'm not sure. If it they is can. Texas Snowflake. So now that the summer is in, we remember oh, look, winter with our Texas Snowflakes, which I full on think should come to MadeItCon, don't you? Texas Snowflakes should come to MadeItCon because it's not a MadeItCon with, I mean, like, let's do it this year. Yeah, I think so. I'm ready. Are you ready? 
get bubbled up. I gotta remember people screenshot me. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> it's like that's, the weirdest we moment. All right, let's finish up these mushrooms. <laughs> We're doing this thing. We should do. We should maybe finish them off. So I'm definitely, definitely gonna keep a little of the yellow into my titanium white, and I might even get a little, interestingly enough, yellow ochre, just a smidge, guys, because you don't want to lose your glow. And I'm making a much lighter color. And as I come around. Look at that. And I might even add some of that to the center of the dark. The dark, dark night. That needs to be a dark yellow. What am I doing? That was a hot mess. But we're going to fix it like this. See how we did? And all I'm going to do is get my detail brush and get my kit together and fix that edge there. Sometimes that'll happen. I'll be like goofing around. And you're like, well, would you pay attention? And I'm going to say to you, no. <laughs> if my principal from second grade couldn't make it happen, nothing is going to work. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I think I may even move my stem down a bit. I'm going to get my white and a little of my yellow, and I'm going to move my stem down to maybe like there. There we go. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta get there. And now I need one more. I'm gonna get right into my titanium white. Look at that. How glowy are your mushrooms now? Are you tripping out? I'm tripping out. Are you tripping out? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So I'm going to take my uh, purple over to my yellow ochre. I'm going to add also some Indian yellow to it so it sort of all ties together. And I'm going to get into my titanium white. And I'm going to come here at the center of the stem. I'm going to leave some of this other color that I've been painting the whole time sort of showing through. And then I'm going to get a little more white and come right here. And sort of like add a little highlight through there. Just a bit. This is going to help our stems feel like it's got a little glow on. Maybe a little Indian yellow and a little more white. Just softly dry brushing. A little of the glow. How's your glow doing? Your stems now look a little aglow. Mm-hmm. So wild, isn't it? Now, these things are like awkwardly sticking out of the ground. So we should help them. Let's get our number four Cambridge. And let's get a little of our Phthalo green and a little burnt umber. You can even get some of your blue or your Prussian blue. Either one will work. We're just making a nice kind of deeper green. And I'm going to start to shape out some sort of like ground plant stuff that's happening right here. It really needs to come up through here everywhere. So let's get that in. This is the first dark consideration. Prussian, phthalo, maybe burnt umber. Let's throw everything at this. Right, because we've got to come here and really, really start to talk about these like they're in real ground and that real stuff is afoot. So that we can get Miss Thing traced on today, right? Mm hmm. So we can paint her in. Here we go, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. And we're just taking that down. So this is right now at this stage pretty dark. It's not really, nothing's really happening here. Right? 
And I'm going to get a number two bright from Ruby Satin. I'm going to dip that in some water. And I'm going to go ahead and take a little of my burnt umber into my phthalo green. And I'll go ahead and let's see what the cad is looking like into it. I might go Indian yellow. Depends on how it is. But I'm going to come here and start to talk about a little bit of this. More thought out little foliage that could be here, could be there, right? Dipping in the water, grabbing a little more. Just tapping this around. Go ahead and bring some blades in front of some of your mushrooms a little bit so that, see how that pushes these back? You know, so layering these objects in this way can be incredibly helpful. Even though maybe you are going to do them a little differently, you know. But just letting these exist in a space that's real. Let them exist, man. They have a right to exist. You have a right to exist. Here we go. How are you guys feeling? Really good. I know this is a crazy course, but I'm so glad I started it. I said to John when I started this, I don't know what's going to happen, but it needs to happen. Yeah. I'm only going to take this little grass texture over here about this far. And some of these little blades, I might get a little Prussian blue into this whole little mixture. I'm going to make, you know, maybe a little bigger. You know, we know we've got her right here, so the detail's got to be, like, in this forward space a little bit and then coming over. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little of my uh, yellow ochre into my phthalo. And I'm going to go ahead and start to plant out Actually, I feel like that could use some Prussian blue. There we go. So it's there, but it's very like... We're going to just layer this sort of texture in. This is the first layer. I got the little Prussian blue into that mix. You know, maybe some of these leaves need to curve over. And we're just starting to talk about like maybe a little uh, like an ivy like texture. I'm going to be a little less specific than the reference because I feel like it wasn't an actual ivy. I think that's an ivy texture. <laughs> So I'm going to just make something that feels plant-like to me that pulls forward in this space and across the carpet of this floor a little bit since we've got the time. How are we doing on our time, babe? You're about 45 minutes. All right. I think this is almost perfect. We may be tracing her in next time, but we will be through this part of the plant life. And that's okay, right? We had a nice little class today, and I love these. I'm so excited about the months to come. The jellyfish style mermaid, I am like full on about. We had a lot of mermaids. The silky is going to be great if you like seals. If you don't like seals, then that's maybe not your favorite month. But if you like seals, it's like your jam. I'm going to go ahead and add some Indian yellow into this mix and some zinc. I love my zincs. And some of these little leaves maybe will be a little more highlighted, right?
And then I can even come in and get just a little bit of this and maybe like part of that blade and part of that blade could have a little highlight. And some of these could as well. Let me get a little of that sort of work through. So this now I'm playing in the titanium white. And when I play into the titanium white, it makes the coverage greater and the value lighter because it, it functionally changes the hue, not just the value. So we're just making sure that behind her, yeah, that her back's going to be there, but we, we want to make sure that we've got these delicate little bits of thought. That hue over there, that really applies to what we do. Wow. A little joke and then realize, oh no, this is like, this is important stuff. You know, getting that going, get it, get it going. And there's a fascinating bit of sort of a purple blue foliage that I think is kind of really wild. So I'm going to take a little of my green and blue together and get just my zinc. Look at this. Wow. Uh, can you zoom in on that? Darling? Zoom. Fun stuff. And I'm just working it. I'm working it. I'm work. I didn't use any alizarin, guys. I'm sorry. The alizarin. It would have been for unused. the girl if we got her in today. You know. You just, just wanted to be alizarin prepared. I was alizarin prepared. Sorry. You know. Got to have the hues about you. You do. You got to have the hues about you. See how we're getting that little blue bit in? But it's subtle because, you know, zinc doesn't mess us up. Now, zinc, the difference between zinc and titanium white is well basically uh zinc all the whites when they're when the name changes they're actually a different formulation of white that's the first important thing to realize that the pigment is intrinsically different which is why their pigment codes are different zinc uh was created for oil paints doesn't work in oil paints at all um to create a very translucent light airy white and then titanium white was uh, created to replace lead white which is you know deadly to the people who made it Honestly, painters, they, it goes from the, can, the palette to your canvas, and you're not touching it or eating it and putting it on your skin. Pretty safe, but making it's very challenging. Um, so the zinc lets you have very transparent, light, uh, pearlescent almost. Oh, it's just incredible for clouds and landscapes. Whereas the titanium functionally lifts with fort the color. And the reason I'll say that it changes the hue is that Titanium white is so overpowering and so opaque, it actually almost changes the color of the paint. Whereas zinc just lifts it a little bit. Where if you add zinc to red, you just made your red lighter, right? If all you had on your palette was titanium, you'd have to switch to yellow to lighten your red. Is that, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what's happening. And why we do what we do. Why we do it. I have a whole big art quest. Um, about that this one's a little more green and i'm loving it i'm just playing with it right here um about all the whites and why they're different titan buff unbleached titanium some of the stories behind that some of the history behind that if you're an oil painter you need to read your favorite uh paint company's blogs right now because there's a bunch happening to your paint uh at the moment because of the zinc that really is relevant to you but it is not happening to us acrylic artists we don't have these problems, man. We just don't. I don't know what to tell you. No. Hey, guess what I found out today, Don? What did you find out today? Since my birthday is Canada Day, I'm an honorary Canadian. Yeah. And, and then now my youngest, who I was like sharing cute little pictures of her today, she actually is Canadian. Because <laughs> she was born in the Royal Canadian Hospital. Do you think, think Trudeau would, you know, have us? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think he wants us at all. 
I don't think they have an adopt a YouTuber program. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. <laughs> that would be so funny. I'm just sort of filling in this area. Um, even though she's going to be there, I find that taking this little time to put, like, for many of you, this could be like, you could be done, many of you. It's true. Just oh, We've got about 10 minutes left to but do But you it. can't because we have to put in little glows. Are, are we We're going to put in some glows back here, and then we'll put in some glows up front when she's in. But we got to get our glow on. Got to get the glow in there. Get your glow on. All right, I'm going to take a little of my zinc over to my phthalo blue, and I'm going to mix them together using my small brush. And I'm going to start to make little dots. I think I might even want, like, I don't even know that that's the right. I'm trying to think, what is the perfect tool for that? Hmm. I want it to be a little more dotted. If only you had more brushes to pick. From. If only I did, right? I'm going to get this little buddy. This is my three over zero. <laughs> Just because that other thing was giving me some grief, and I don't like it. I don't like to be given any grief by my paint ever under any circumstance. Zero gonna, grief. Zero grief is allowed. I'm going to. Definitely, definitely add a little more blue to this. And I may open my new bottle of gloss glazing liquid. And you know how you know it's in Michael's? Because it's translated into all these languages. The same. They would like you to be able to read what the package says. No matter where it is. Which I think is it's smart. probably not a bad it's, idea. Uh, accessibility <laughs> is smart. Thank you to everybody, especially Daisy, who's been closed captioning lately. Oh Speaking my, of accessibility. Yes. Big, big hugs. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, and I'm just going to make some of these little circles in here because we have these little, like, sprites, right? Mm-hmm. Hiding in the grasses. You know, especially in the spaces where, you know, she might be layering or these could be behind her. I'm going to definitely get these in now. I may put more in once she's in. I need a little more zinc on that. I need to get right in on a little more zinc on that. Mm. I'm just starting to put these little blue bits in. The blue bits are very important bits. That's what makes it feel magical, right? Even going back here, I'm going to get a little of the white on my brush. Even going back here, these little guys should have a little bit of the zinc in the center showing their highlights. And the reason zinc can be nice here is so that it doesn't get so uh, powerful that it pulls it forward in the canvas. So now those are a little more like, woo. But now that we have that, I can go right into my titanium white, one of these guys. Oh, that's skin. So I pull over the skin and I just get right in here. Where and I go it? right oh. in the center. And it's still wet, so I'm like taking advantage of that. I'm sort of like zigging around. And that lets a little blue get on it. You guys see that? Yeah. And this is a very dark part of the painting down there. It's so a very dark part of the painting. Not to the human eye, but to the camera. Uh, you'll find, like, the Raphaelites. And a lot of the painters didn't paint, like, really little bright little things, you know? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. This, this is really cool. But then the highlights you're putting on right now, there are the little glowy bits. They're the glowy bits. And we're just going to take them around. Yeah. 
Making them even a little bit bigger. I have a purpose here. As we get this going. I'm going to go ahead and get right more into my blue. But I've got my titanium white on here. Just building up these little sprites. See how you do? Adding to our little story. Now, if you wanted to use your dotting tool. Perfect, but I'm going to use mine at the end. Ah, they were just asking some people how to dotting tool. Like, yes, we use that? definitely. It's a good time to pull out your dotting tool, especially for this last little bit. And here's what I mean by that. Well, I say I have a dotting. There it is. I say I have a dotting tool. Hmm. Where is it? I go right in here. And then I can come right back. And go ahead and dot, can't I? Dot, 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 dot. That looks really cool. Just a little bit here and there. And it doesn't mean we won't add any more. It just means that we know we needed these guys at this stage before we had her in. Now, look, aren't they little, like, little tiny little glow lights like you're on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride? Yeah. Which, of course, is the holy grail of all things we could ever do artistically. May I ever be as good as the artist that made the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. No. Those Imagineers, those are so awesome. Imagineers are special. But look at that. That's looking great. We got a glow. We got a lot of our glows and our lights and our illumination happening. And You guys know a little bit more about how that occurs on Canvas. We're going to meet up at the same bat time at the same bat channel next week. Mm -hmm. You can check the banner for times. You can check the Facebook groups for the schedules and the Art Sherpa official we've got to point it out. But more exciting, you can check the website for the calendar, which shows you months into advance. And as I add things to it, it continues to populate it. Mm -hmm. So now you could actually plan a thing. And then if you get on the notification system, you'll know if we're late. <laughs> and actually, you can go back and look through time backwards on our calendar and find your events that way, too. What so we learned is we made a lot of art. You can go check all that out. If you're not on Instagram and you're not on my IGTV, get your Instagram, get your IGTV, follow me so you can see these unbelievable, it's like 30 days you're going to be painting watercolor. I'm going to keep painting more than that, but. 30 of these paintings, and you're going to be like, yeah, I got this watercolor thing down. I got it. I know what a bloom is. I'm good. And definitely come by for Watercolor Wednesdays, and definitely come by for Techniques Tuesdays on Facebook. New studio will be opening really soon. You guys are great. Oh, and come back tomorrow. We're painting Easy Peasy Fireworks. Yep, yep, yep. Good to yourselves. Be good to each other, and I'm going to see you at these really soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>